What's up, freaks? Welcome to Steve Says, episode number 116. This is a live show. Steve Says, as you know, we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. And some people will hate, but most can relate to the things that we talk about here every single week on the show. It's is sometimes things that you don't want to hear, but it's probably shit that you need to hear. And Steve says it's a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. This is what we do. This is what it's about. Got you on the multiple screens here. If you want to interact, you can pop in the comments. I'll try to read them on the different monitors here as we're going. But we are focusing on the mind, the body, the business, having a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate in all areas of your life with discipline, with energy, confidence, action, being an action taker, a bold move maker, and being your freak self. This is the the, the freak perspective on personal development, a positive mindset, of course, health and fitness. You know, this is the, the mind personal development show of the week. There's also business development and fitness development throughout the throughout the week as long as well as the show with the kids and the show with the Russian and the freak so this today we're talking about personal development about getting your shit together stepping up your game and and your game keep that word in mind your game and on that note I want I want to start this off today real quick we're going to get right down to it uh, first off if you haven't checked out yet check out the freak mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. Make sure you check that out. It's 40 days and 40 nights of progressively building in difficulty, different habits that are compounding, stacking on each other every day for 40 days. It's a full interactive program. Check it out. The link will be down in the comments and I'll put it in the notes here for the show also. So check that out. The Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. If you need to get your shit locked on and get your shit together, check it out. What's going on, freaks? I'm trying to catch, see some comments on these different ones. I'll check them in a minute once we get rolling. But I want to start off this this episode here with life. I want you to answer this question with the first thing that comes to mind. We've done this before, but this kind of flows into what we're going to be talking about today. So start this. I want you to finish this sentence with the first word that pops into your head. Life is a what? What comes to mind? What's the first word to finish that sentence that comes into mind? Now, life is a, and this that answer that you come up with will tell you a lot about where, where you're coming from, what perspective you have, what kind of mindset you have. And today, a lot of times people say, if someone says life is a bitch, life is whatever. We get to see in there, life is a fight. Life is a, life is a bitch you hear a lot of times. For me, my first one was, when I first think of it, is life is a playground. Playground was the first word that comes to mind. Fucking playground. Like, think about that. Or you might hear life is a game. Now, it depends on what kind of fucking game you're playing, but life is a journey. I see journey. And this will tell you a lot about your mindset, where you're coming from, what direction you're going in. What what are the thoughts that are going through your head when you first wake up in the fucking morning? And it's... Really, it tells you a lot about your mindset. It tells you a lot about your perspective. It tells you a lot about where you're coming from. And we're trying to read some of the comments here as we're going. So the point is, a lot of people say, so my life is a playground. Another one that I like is life is a game when that comes up. Because it is a game. It's just a big fucking game. And a couple of episodes back of Steve Says, I don't remember what episode it was. I'll have to look it up. It was about not taking shit too seriously. Not taking yourself too seriously. Not overthinking shit, things like that. And that's where you need to be thinking. And what comes to mind first when you hear that sentence? And I want to talk about life is a game and how to turn everything not into a game like it doesn't matter, because games definitely fucking matter, but how to gamify shit, how to keep, like, you should have to be able to keep score on things. Like, imagine there was a basketball game and, and the fucking Knicks. You know, I don't watch basketball anymore, but I used to be a big Knicks fan, so I don't really watch much sports anymore. It's just not no time for it, and we're going to get off the topic, but think about that. Like, people get to work Monday morning after their football team 
uh, Eli Manning on the Giants. That's how far back, I mean, whatever. Eli Manning on the Giants. Or the, the fucking Patrick Ewing is on the Knicks. And you get, get to work Monday morning. And your team lost a big game on Sunday. Your football team lost a big game. Your basketball team lost a game. And you're all down and depressed. And you're talking about it. You're analyzing. You're spending all this time and effort and energy and emotion on it. And you're at work. You think motherfucking Tom Brady or Patrick Ewing or whoever is sitting there on a Monday morning after you, you didn't close a big deal or after you, you you didn't make the get the bonus you were looking for or get the new job you were looking for or, or land that new client in your business? You think they're sitting there depressed about it and talking about it with their friends and analyzing it and spending all their... No, fuck no. They're practicing their free throws. They're, that's what they're doing. They're practicing their craft. They're getting better at what they're doing. That's what they're doing. They don't give two shits about what you're doing when it comes to sports. So as we're talking about games, it ties in perfectly. And how life is a, is a fucking game. So don't think about it. Like That's when I stopped really watching too much sports. It just t- takes up too much time. And people have to put too much energy and fucking emotions into it. But imagine one of those athletes went out into the game. And there was no scoreboard. There's no referee really. No one keeping track. No one scoring. They're just playing. They're dribbling the ball back and forth. Fucking Patrick Ewing and the Knicks. They fucking... That's probably why I stopped watching sports. Because of the fucking Knicks. And what happened to them. But just imagine that. They're playing. And eventually... And they don't even know what the time is. They don't know how much time is left in the game. They don't know how many timeouts they have. They don't know what the score is. They don't know if they're winning or they're losing. Imagine they're going back and forth. How old am I? 40... uh, 30... 25. I'm 25 years old. No, 44 years old. Yeah, Patrick Ewing. Patrick, is Patrick Ewing still playing? That's when I stopped watching the fucking Knicks. But imagine they, they're just playing back and forth, and then the, the timer goes off, the game is over, and they say, all right, you can all go home. And no one knows if they won. No one knows if they... So they don't know what they need to keep doing, start doing, stop doing. You need to keep score of shit in all areas of your life. You need to track yourself, rate yourself, score yourself. At the end of the night, you should have different things you score yourself on. I, create my, I score myself on certain things. That's why when I say life is a playground, life is a game. Make it a game. Make it fun. Score yourself in different areas of life. Like I score myself on decaf. That's discipline, energy, confidence, action, and freak. I do that and and, and usually Tyson does with me every night. We do our, our nighttime journaling and we talk about it. What scores you get? And that's out of five. One out of five, one to five. So it's a total of 25. So it's breaking down the day. How was my discipline that day? How was my energy? How was my confidence? How much action did I take? Was I my freak fucking self that day? And then also I have words of the year. My words of the year in 2021, and I've stuck with them, so I still score them every single day, was create, connect, and close. Did I create shit today? How well did I connect with people today? Did I close, not just close deals, like of course you want to close motherfucking deals and make some damn money, but just close loops, not leave shit hanging and lingering over to the next day, like finish shit. Did you finish shit? Like, that's what we're talking about. Did you actually get shit done? So I'll rate myself on that every day. And it's like a fucking game. And I'll keep track of the score. So I see what's working, what's not working. What do I need to do more of? What do I need to do less of? Like that's the way you need to be thinking about everything in life. Like gamify shit. Keep score. And don't be afraid of a little competition with first yourself. Your main competition should be with yourself. Are you better than yesterday? Can you whoop your own ass from yesterday? Are you making more money than yesterday? Are you living a better life than yesterday? You should be in competition with yourself. But there's nothing wrong being in some, some good, friendly competition. That's why the, that's what you can, what I still do get out of sports and athletes, is of course their, their discipline, their dedication to what they do, and the time and that the, they put into their fucking craft. Like, that's, a, that's obviously a next level discipline. That's what, you, what I can get out of it. I can't sit there for four hours a fucking day watching a game. You got, you got shit to do. You got your own fucking life to live. Stop living on, on, on Tom Brady's nuts and... and Go make shit happen. Go create some shit. Go connect. Go close some shit. Like, that's what you need to be thinking. Score And then score yourself in these different areas. What are your metrics that you score yourself on a daily basis? And listen, never never really trust someone that doesn't want to keep score. I've had, I've had employees that when it came down to it, and you have metrics and you have to report numbers. Like, they don't want to do it. They don't want to be held accountable for it. You want to make excuses for shit. Like... Numbers are fucking numbers. Like, you have to keep track of what you're doing. And, and so you can see what's working, what's not working. What do you need to do more of? What do you need to do less of? What do you need to start doing? What do you need to stop fucking doing? 
that you need to think about. And make everything a competition. Like yesterday, yesterday I was in the gym. And certain days I go to the, the local gym, I do my, my workouts there. And afterwards, I go to the sauna. Part of the ritual, fucking love it. Look forward to that shit all the time. And I'll stay in the sauna. It could be anywhere from 30, average probably 30 minutes, just because of time-wise. But I'll sometimes stay in there up to 40 to 50. I think 58 minutes is the most recently that I've stayed in there. So I'll break, I'll break, I'll have to break an hour now. Because you want to play a game. You want to beat yourself. Keep track of how long you're doing shit. How, what's, what's the, how long do you stay in the ice bath? How long do you take a cold shower for and beat that? How long did it take you to run a mile? How long did it take you to run three miles? How many pull-ups did you do? Keep track of that shit. Score it. So you know if you're getting better. You know if you're moving forward. So anyway, I was in the, in the sauna. And I have the headphones on. But when I'm in there, since one of my words is connect, I am in the sauna to kind of zone out. To I'll either listen to a book or focus. It's like my regeneration time. It's after the workout. It's just to sweat it out. And it's just a, a, a mental, emotional type game playing in there. But if there's other people in there, sometimes I'll... I suck at starting conversations. That's one of my fucking things that I need to always improve on. But one of my things is connect. Right? I'm supposed to connect. I want to connect with more people because I haven't connect. I don't connect enough. So I'm sitting there in the sauna and I have the headphones on. They have the noise canceling, but I pop the thing on it where you could hear the music, but also hear the outside stuff, the, the noise around you. And this guy comes in there and they come in after me, the guy and his girlfriend, they come in after me and they're sitting they sit down and they start talking. They're in there for like five minutes, six minutes. And maybe they get to about 10 minutes. I was already in there for about 10 minutes. So I'm coming past 20 minutes. They're in there getting up on 10. And the guys, girl, they're talking, whatever, chit-chatting together. The girl says, I'm, I'm done. I got to get out. And I hear the guy say to her, kind of whisper to her. He says, no, I got to stay here until this guy leaves. Talking about me. I was the only other person in there. Like basically he's saying... And I didn't even know that he thinks I have headphones on. He's kind of whispering it. But when you put, put that button on the headphones, it fucking gives you like supersonic hearing. So he's basically saying he's got to stay in there until I leave. I'm like, okay, motherfucker, it's on. I fucking sat there. I started doing some mental fucking meditation. I said, all right, I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I'm not fucking leaving this motherfucker. I will die in this sauna right now before I leave before this other dude. I will fucking die here. Like that's what we're talking about, about gamifying shit, being in competition, creating competitions on the fly. Like this dude is like in his head. Like that's what he's thinking that he's, he's going to do. And it's some younger, whatever, pretty fairly fit, which is rare nowadays. But so I'm sitting there and I'm already in there at 20 minutes. They're probably about 10 minutes. I'm already at 10 minute head start, but it doesn't matter. I'm, there's no fucking way I will, I will leave and leave my children fucking fatherless because I wouldn't just by hearing that and I know that I'm not going to leave that fucking place if I do it's going it's to be because I fucking pass the fuck out which won't happen either fucking like seven eight minutes later the dude's like I had enough and then he actually says to me when he's leaving he says you won this battle he didn't even know he didn't even know that I knew I was in a fucking battle because it was his own game he's playing and he got fucking beat at it Make shit a game. Like, I actually like that. He did that. He thinks that way. You're not going to win them all. Shit, I've done things where hanging on a bar with someone or I forget what it was somewhere. And there's, you're, you're, if you're around the right people, you're going to have some fucking challenges and you're not going to win all the time. You're going to fucking try. You're going to die trying. Or you're going to make an agreement. All right, we're done. And it's a mutual agreement. But this wasn't one of those cases. This dude just, it was his own fucking game that he created. And But at least he's in the game. At least he's trying. At least he's putting himself on the fucking feel that somewhere mentally in his fucking head like some type of competition there's nothing wrong with competition like Tyson's at school they run a half a mile they run a half a mile and then they also do like this like the lap thing but they do a half a mile run they won't allow they have enough space it's only like 20 something kids that, that, that are doing it together in the class right less than 30 they have enough space for all of them to run at the same time but they don't let them do that because that then that's going to make some kids feel left behind so they put them in groups of like five or six or four or five, six, whatever the fuck number is. And they make them take off. And about a, a, a minute later or whatever, 30 seconds later, they let the next wave take off and the next wave take off. Now, it's not for safety purposes because it's a fucking big field. You have all the space in the world, a big, huge, wide open, like soccer field looking thing. So it's not like safety concerns. It's because if they all started together, 
Some kids wouldn't come in first. Some kids would be in fucking last. Like, holy shit. I told Tyson, listen, your goal, no matter what wave they send you in, your goal is to fucking try to win. Try to beat those people that were three, four waves started ahead of you. You fucking go all out. You make it your own game. You don't let them hold you back. They're trying to fucking hold you back. Like, what kind of pussy shit is that? And he told me, I think yesterday he came in like third. He was in the last wave that went and he came in third. He said the other one, it was just too... If someone's a decent runner and they're in those early waves, it's going to be fucking hard to catch them on a half a mile. But gamify shit. Make shit a fucking competition with yourself. Make shit like this dude in the sauna did. He, made, he was making a competition with someone else without them even knowing it. Because that's what's going to get him to push himself mentally, physically, emotionally to the next level. He picked the wrong fucking one, but that's besides the point. But make it a competition. Even if someone, even does, he doesn't, I didn't even know about it. I like that shit. Like, do that. You need to push yourself. You need those things to push yourself. And, and speaking of running, like, at school, I remember when it shit. When, we, when, we, when I was in school, we would play dodgeball. And listen, if you were fucking fat and slow and not athletic, you're probably going to get smashed in fucking dodgeball. Probably when we had field day at the end of the year, you're not going to get any medals. You're not going to get or ribbons. You're not going to get any ribbons. You're not going to win any races. You're the ones that they're going to put in the three-legged race, the ones that no one gave a fuck about. And that's fine. Because, listen, when I was in fucking math class or history class, failing, they'd say, hey, oh, you're the one that isn't doing so good, so here, let's make it easier for you, or let's not make it a worry about, there's no scores in here, but let's do that in gym class. Like, fuck, let some, let some people motherfucking shine and where they could shine. Like, stop holding motherfuckers back, because it's all about competition. They're afraid of competition. Participation trophies and all that other bullshit. Like, think about that. So, d don't... Don't be afraid to compete. Don't be afraid to put yourself in the game. And the way to do that, the way to compete, even compete with yourself, is to score yourself. Have some ratings that you give yourself on a daily basis. Don't take shit too seriously. Don't take yourself too seriously. Don't take anything too fucking seriously. I'm trying to catch up on some comments here. I saw some pop in here. If you have any comments, put them in below. We got I got like five different freaking screens here. How do you carry your spouse along as you level up? Oh, good question. Perfect question. How do you carry your spouse or anyone? Let's even not even say it so it's not so let's say a, a team member, an employee, a, a, a spouse, partner, your fucking pet goat, whatever the hell you're into. How do you take them along? How do you basically carry them along as you level up? It is, you need to already realize that you're take, you need to take people along for the ride with you, right? So we've gone over this before, but let's say you're here and your, your pet goat is here. You like to sit around the house, you sit around, you do, you do nothing all day, you, you watch Netflix, you eat fucking ice cream. One day you decide, I'm going to stop eating ice cream, I'm going to start dieting, I'm going to start reading personal development books, I'm going to start getting a, get a coach, I'm going to start doing this, that, 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 and you start leveling up. As you start doing that, realize you two are here. As you start doing this, that is your job. It is your duty and obligation to bring that person along the ride with you. To find mutual activities. Find books that you can both read together. Get, get, get together going on some workouts or some physical activities that you like. Go on, on, on take them along for the ride on, on different seminars or personal development trips. Things like that. Like, it is your job to do it. When you decided to go get better, when you already had like a kind of a mutual agreement to be where you are, and you decide to go do this stuff, once that becomes too big of a gap, that angle becomes a problem. You need to keep that within a range. Now, it doesn't have to be at the same speed. And I wouldn't say it, it says how you carry someone along. You don't have to carry someone along, but you do need to bring them along for the ride with you. Let someone to put in their life as a journey. Take them on the journey with you. If you just go by yourself and you keep bam, 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 you could start speaking English together and you start leveling up so much. Now they're, and, and the other, and someone else isn't, and you're leaving them behind, not including, it's just about including them, including them in the shit you're doing. Explain stuff, making it conversation. Talk about that shit on, on your go out nights, your date nights and stuff like that. Have those deeper discussions that, that you probably avoid. Like that's what it's about. Leveling up, like take any, taking each other along for the ride. Finding mutual ways you can connect on. And we can go a lot, that could be an entire show on its own. And you know what? We'll probably, we'll bring up that topic on the Russian and the Freak, which is me and the Russian. We talk about how we, how you put, how we put the business, the family, the personal development all together. So the point today was, Life is a fucking playground. Life is a game. Don't take shit too seriously. 
and score shit. Don't be afraid of competition. Don't be afraid of fucking losing. Try to win. And yes, there's nothing wrong with fucking winning. There's nothing wrong with being a winner. I know there's this, there's all the sayings to fail, fail forward, fail fast, and all this other stuff. Sure, you're going to fail. And learn how to deal with losing and failing graciously and use it as a lesson and all that other stuff. But if you have the choice and it's in your capabilities, fucking win. I have no problem with fucking winning a lot more than I'm losing. I want some more W's and L's. That's no fucking problem. So gamify shit, keep score, find something to track yourself on on a regular basis, get your shit together, level the hell up. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything, put them down below. And if you need some help with these type of things we're talking about, like building these daily disciplines, check the link it's somewhere attached to this video on the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge. It's a 40-day challenge on increasing daily habits and daily disciplines, adding them into your lifestyle until they become fucking automatic and part of your bones and DNA and who you are so that they last for a lifetime so you can activate your own personal freak mode, which is basically your freak freedom. Living life on your own terms, getting your shit together, having discipline, energy, confidence, being an action taker, and being your freak motherfucking self. That's what it's all about. That's what this show is about. And that's what the Freak Mode 40 Daily Discipline Habit Challenge is about. So if you want information on that, send me a message. We could talk about it. I need to get rolling. Send me a message if you have more questions about what we were talking about here today. And in case no one told you yet today, you're fucking awesome. No excuses.